So good day, tech buddies. Uh, I will teach you how to locate the CMOS battery of this laptop. This is Dell Inspiron 153501. So aside troubleshoot, uh, this is no power. So if you have a uh, same scenario on this, if you have a uh, tools to open the laptop for the uh first step of solution you can uh, remove the CMOS battery or remove uh, the battery of the laptop or the RAM so I will teach you where is the uh, major components that has to have to be removed for the troubleshooting so first uh, you need a charger so you can plug in and then if you detect that it was uh, have an, an indicator light it means the charger is working so you can test it it is uh, 19 volts second to troubleshoot is you may remove the battery so i already removed this battery remove the battery after you remove the battery then you go plug in at the second time the power then turn on the laptop as in a turn on button on the keyboard so the second step to remove is the RAM or the memory. You remove this by sliding to. Then you can clean using a eraser or contact cleaner. Then after that, you put it back. Then you plug in and turn on. So in case did not work. So this is the second one. The third is we need to remove the keyboard. So this is the keyboard side. So you can you can pop it up, then slide outside. So after that you plug in and turn on the power switch so in case did not work so that's time you need to remove the storage in this setup it was an ssd so some setup will be on the ssd side or the hard disk so either on the hard disk or on the SSD so you can remove both of these and then turn on so after did not work for the SSD and the hard disk locate the CMOS battery it was located on the corner side of the laptop so you can unscrew here There are three screws. So after remove the three screws, then flip it back. So you can see the CMOS battery. So you can remove this. After you remove, you make a jumper for the positive and negative. So remove the CMOS battery first. Then uh, 
make a jumper for the positive and negative connector then you can return it back and then you may now proceed to turning on so that's it this is how to troubleshoot on your Dell Expiron 15 specific model is 3501 thank you for watching